I started fishing when I was a, a teenager. My uncle was the chairman at the time. He approached me um, and uh, asked me if I would fish his boat, and that's how I kind of got started. Uh, it was a trial by error. <laughs> it took a while to get the, the hang of it, but you know, um, I always appreciated that opportunity. And once I did start fishing, I knew this was me. <laughs> you know, our ancestors fished here for thousands of years, and so there's. There's a lot to that for me personally, to be out here knowing that my ancestors were here, maybe even in the exact same spot. There's no place I'd rather be than out here. This is what, what I am. We've had a lot of problems up here. One of our tribal members was actually spat on by somebody that was angry that we were here fishing. And that's typical for up here. I've been shot at before on the river, been peppered with bird shot in the summer. We've had our equipment vandalized before, and you know, people throw rocks at us verbally and, and literally. And the main thing is, you know, they want to know why we're using nets. And, you know, my response is we've been using nets for thousands of years. We want to use the most efficient manner to catch fish as quickly as possible and get in and out and minimize impacts for non-targeted species. And so it, it benefits us and it benefits the resource. A net is basically a weighted two lines with web in between it with corks on top. And the object is to put it in front of the salmon that are swimming upriver. We use various size nets to avoid the non-targeted species. They swim into it and they're caught and at the end of a drift we pull it in the boat and then our crew starts taking the fish out. We clean out the sticks, we repair the net if need be. If we have salmon, put them on ice, take care of them, and then we just do it all over again. Everything is intentional. The objective is to manage the fisheries for equality between uh, recreational and tribal. We closely monitor this fishery. We have um, our enforcement, our biology staff here. We have our attorneys. They're going through camp and asking every fisherman how many they have so far. So we check in, you know, several times a day to get a good estimate of where we're at. How many fish do you have? Probably 75 now, I think. 75, okay. We manage in season based on numbers and we, we adapt in the event that the fish do not show up. We reduce the fishery or eliminate the fishery. There's no other feeling for me like being on that river and fishing. When people see us fishing, that means there's, just, there's a sustainable, harvestable fish available for us and sport fishermen too. That's a sign that the system is producing fish and, and they're coming back.